Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Essentials 1.8. So as you probably know, um, when the servers updated to 1.8, Essentials uh, didn't, and the old version for 1.7 wouldn't work on the new 1.8 servers. So if you did forward slash pl, uh, it would pop up in red and it wouldn't work at all. So a lot of people who have been requesting that I do a tutorial on how to use Essentials with 1.8, uh, where to download it, and all bits and bobs like that. So in this tutorial, I will show you where to download it, um, what the various modules do, because there's more than one, it's not just a single .jar file, and how to use some of the commands and config um, various different files. So if we go on the interwebs after stopping our server like that, um, we will go onto the uh, Spig Essentials page on Jenkins, and this will give us uh, all of these .jars that we could download, but we don't really need all of them. So if we go on the breakdown page, this shows you um, what they do. So obviously, the top one, Essentials, this is the one you definitely need. Um, so that's the one we want to download. And then we have Anti-Build, that's a build permission system, as you would suggest. Um, I don't usually use that because it's annoying. Um, but yeah, you can download that if you want. Spawn and Chat, that's very simple. I always download these two because they are very useful. So you can set a spawn where players um, join when they first come into the server. Spawn, there's protect, which obviously uh, helps protect um, the world. So that's good. And there's a couple of extras. I never use these. There's GOIP. That's pretty cool when it tells you where people are from. And XMPP. I never use that. So, yeah. And Group Manager. Really like this plugin. Um, it's a permission system that works very, very well. Um, so I will leave a link to this and we will get into how to configure it. So obviously just drop as many of them as you like into your uh, plugins folder and then just start up your server. So um, if anyone is wondering what Jenkins is, it's a website where devs put up um, unstable dev builds um, and you can download them. It's a bit risky because there might be adverse effects and they might not work how they're supposed to, but uh, you can get like newer versions and whatnot. If anyone's wondering, these were all the plugins that I planned to make a tutorial of. There's a lot here. Um, so this is where I just put, when people request a plugin, I put them here. Um, and I'm sorry if anyone requested a plugin that's here. These are the ones that um, are not really top priority, uh, except MC Infected, that should really be in this one. There we go. But uh, yeah. Anyway, um, what are we doing? Well, we are going to do the config now. So um, there's all these different files. So I thought it would be best to start with the message of the day. Now, if you don't have Notepad++, I recommend you get it because this is going to be very, very difficult with Notepad uh, normally. So with this, you can uh, select a player's name when they join via this. You can get world time and there's probably some others on the Essentials Wiki. So this is very, very useful. You can find out everything here. Um, so you can just make this colors you want. Um, I see lots of servers, like create a new line, try not to do any weird um, spaces or tabs because that messes up the plugin. Um, they do like B and L, which is bold. Lots of equal signs for some reason, uh, a different color like a bracket and then the name of the server, so server craft, and then they just repeat it on the other side. I don't know, it looks pretty nice, but you can do this if you want. And then you finish with this bit on the end and then at the bottom they seem to um, have a similar thing, but uh, remove this middle bit and do more equal signs because can't get enough of those. So that's how you do the message of the day. Pretty simple. Um, you can just type for just welcome, blah, blah, blah. Whatever people need to know. So that's very, very straightforward. And we are going to go into another file now. So um, config is a very large file with so many things that you need to configure. So uh, when you first get it, what I would suggest doing is removing this for and re replacing it with none. So ops will just be normal, they won't have a weird color and you can uh, change your chat system. Now nickname pre prefix, I would get rid of this because why would you want, um, what's that called, a weird squiggle 
uh, I can't remember the name of it, but um, yeah, I don't like nicknames when they've got weird squiggle next to it. Max nickname length. Uh, if you put this quite big, I believe an error can come up and mess with the server, so wouldn't do that. Down here, very straightforward. Teleport cooldown if you're on faction server. It's good to have maybe a 30 second cooldown and delay before you teleport. So if you're in PvP, you can't just uh, PvP log, which is brilliant. Uh, mob spawn command, I'd keep this low because admins tend to um, have a lot of fun with that. Now if we go to disable commands, this is um, a very useful piece of uh, the config. So I don't know if you saw, but when you have a, an essential server, the mail thing pops up in the chat, but that's very annoying. So if you do hyphen mail um, without the hash, the hash obviously um, makes it invalid, so Java doesn't read it. So if you, uh, I don't actually have the hash on my keyboard because oh no, that's not it, because it's an American keyboard, but it's in British, so I don't know how to get it is what I'm saying, so I just have to copy and paste it. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. And maybe you'd want to disable things like forward slash TNT or God, depending on what your server is. Um, a social spy command, so this is very cool. When you do forward slash social spy, you see when people do these commands and you can spy on people and make sure they're up to no good. Um, down here, kits, uh, that's pretty straightforward. I'll do an in-depth tutorial on this, but if you want to know now how to create a kit, uh, you can copy one of these and rename it, add different items like one, that's stone, 64, stone, and then name, colon, and six, stone. If you want a space, use an underscore and that won't appear. Stone of um, Stoke, and Stoke somewhere in England that I've never been to. Uh, and uh, obviously there's the delay, <coughs> which is in ticks, possibly, or seconds. So yeah, I think it's probably in seconds, actually. Um, and down here, very, very, very important. So important. People say, why aren't my signs working? Well, you have to remove all these hashtags. I don't know why the developer doesn't just do this like by default, because a lot of people want these signs to be, to be used. So just remove all of these nasty hashtags so Java can read it and enable signs. So brilliant, that's how you do that. Um, backup interval, yeah, miss out that. Auto AFK, so if someone's just sitting there, this is the amount of seconds uh, before it says this user is AFK. And then you can obviously auto kick them after amount of time. So 301 seconds. Just like the amount of views uh, YouTube waits before it uh, validates them and uh, custom join message these are pretty simple so you can um, repay enchanted unsafe enchants I like doing this actually it's quite fun give donators maybe efficiency 20 or something um, max fly speed mock speed you can change that pretty straightforward and uh, set homes so using permissions you can give people um, different amount of homes they can set so we could create a new one called donator and that could set 15 homes. So the way you do this, it probably says up here, so essentials.sethome.multiple.donator. And that will allow them to set 15 homes if they donate. So that's pretty cool. And starting balance, so if you've got an economy server, uh, you can 1,000, 2,000, why not? And currency symbol, thankfully you can change it to uh, proper currency, which is the Great Bishop Pound. So that's good. Uh, minimum money, I'd set this to zero because we don't want people um, getting overdraft and loans. Just depends what your server is. And you can also log it, but that would involve a lot of uh, data, so I just, meh, false. Um, chat display name, so this is pretty cool. Um, you can change it a bit. So I would get rid of these um, crocodile clips, as they're called. Uh, it just makes it look nicer and I'd put a hyphen here like that just so it separates it or a colon colon looks nice uh, so yeah down here is the protection bit so you need essentials protect dot jar which we have maybe yes we do good so obviously um, depending on your server if it's creative you would want to 
disable most of these. Uh, if it's factions, you'd probably want to leave most of these on. And uh, this video is probably God knows how many minutes long. Uh, Ten minutes, fantastic. That's what I wanted. Um, Anti-build, so um, worn on build disallow. That gets quite annoying because it spams people, so I'd um, disable that. Worn on placement, so 46. That might be TNT. Yes, it is. So yeah, you can configure this how you want. And the announcement message tells you when a player is new. Maybe you could add your own um, prefix before this, like server craft with color, obviously, and formatting codes. But uh, you now have to do that. It's very simple. Just and and then A to E or one to zero. Um, and kits. These are kits that uh, players get automatically. If you don't want them to get a kit, you just do two apostrophes like that. And respawn at home. So depending on what sort of server you're going for, you can either true or false. And that is pretty much it for essentials um, in the config. So let's go through a few useful commands before I go. If there's any other servers you, any other plugins I should say, that you want me to cover that's not already on the um, list, uh, just comment down below. So um, while we're here, you can force us set home, you can set warps, um, warp test, and then obviously warp test, there you go. You can set the spawn of the world, so when players do force spawn, or join for the first time, they spawn there. Um, you can spawn mobs by doing mob, uh, and then the mob name, I believe. Yeah, it's mob and then sheep 10, and then that's 10 sheep here. Uh, if you do force slash help, this will show you lots of different um, commands. So there's balance, so it does come with economy. Um, we can do signs as well. So on the top line, buy sign, for example, uh, the the ID, I believe, so one, the amount, and then the cost, so correct currency, and yeah, there we go. And um, what else? Well, uh, it's quite a few commands. Social spy is a very, very useful command. So when people do, like, for slash message, I'm hacking, he 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 oh, oh. Um, it will tell me because um, that is one of the commands in the config. And then obviously there's kit. Kit color. It's pretty cool. These are all the format codes, obviously. And I believe that is most things. Hopefully I've covered everything. Obviously you can go onto multiple help messages. Um, it's enchant. And uh, let's grab an item. Enchant. All damage, so this is uh, obviously sharpness. And yeah, that is the plugin. Very, very cool. Most servers use it, and now you can use it for 1.8. Um, so yeah, which of these? Is, uh, let me just close these. So I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial, hopefully a mini game. Uh, I'll be working on the survival game soon, as you can probably see. Advanced survival games, I'll be doing that. Super survival games, if the developer gets back to me. And survival games, um, an updated version, because he is now on 3.4. So yeah, um, I did a tutorial on 1.7, so um, that was a while ago. So yeah, that is uh, the tutorial. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.